What on earth are you doing, Jay? I don't know what I got myself into, but <laughs> I have to finish the chimney. And it's starting to warm up, but that's okay. It is what it is. Right? Yeah. This is why we, we didn't go to the South Hills and for our trip to get the uh, ferns. We're gonna wait till next year. I have to finish this. There's there's so much to still do here. So yeah. Well, we're gonna bag it until next year, so. So we went ahead and got up early. Yep. But then you said, well, this is a better opportunity for me to get out here and uh, paint, right? Yep. And thus the paintbrush. Let me, uh, come out here a little bit to the front and see how much work you've done. Sure. It's a lot. All the way around the house. That's it. All you have left? The chimney and this wall. And then, of course, all the white trim. And then... It's getting there, though. The black shutters. Yep. Yeah. Look at how close he is. And then uh, the whole backyard is done. Under the patio, all the way around to the other side. It's all the trim. And now he's just finishing the chimney. And then this. And then he gets to do all the white. And then the shutters. Yeah, then the shutters. Well, thanks for giving up your ferns to paint my house. Oh, it's worth it. <laughs> it's worth it. I'd rather have this done. So do you want to say why why we were going to the South Hills for the ferns? Do you want to come down? and? <laughs> what do you mean, why? Like, you normally can't just take ferns from... So we got, so we got a permit. <clears throat> we got a permit, and we paid for the ferns, which it is what it is. I mean... It's fine. It's a donation now to yeah. the Forest Service. Yeah, which I'm good with because we got a lot of cool stuff we get to go see because of their upkeep of everything else. But um, up where we were going to get the ferns, I went with uh, our son in May and everything was dead because we had such a cold spring, so to speak. And so now that's done and now it got hot all of a sudden so the ferns just shot up and took off. So. <clears throat> when we get a chance, when we get a chance, we'll go next year, um, probably in early summer, and go get them. So, yeah, I'll just get another yeah. permit, and we'll go do it again. Okay. Or try to get them. Not to mention, it's a little overwhelming to try to keep some ferns alive right now. Yeah, because of how hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rather get them in June when it's cooler, so we'll yeah. see. But you even went up once in June, and they weren't even really there. Just because we had such a long, long cold, cold spring. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So it's next year's project. Yeah, I'd rather finish this. Yeah. It's starting to warm up out here, but I'd okay. rather finish this and get this done and then go from there. Well, let me take them around the back and show them all that you've painted sure. and done this year. And good. Uh, in the hundred and something degree heat, you've just kept going. One oh six, baby. <laughs> It's just got to be done. Mm -hmm. I'm. It takes so long to paint with a inch and a half paintbrush the entire house. Well, everybody's going to say, why it. didn't you spray it? Why didn't you well, roller the it? Why, the reason why is because the spray is great, but with this type of brick, you can't get into all the nooks and crannies. There's just no way. It wouldn't have gotten up underneath. It wouldn't have gotten across the top. It wouldn't have gotten in all the nooks and crannies on the face of the brick. So to me, I we had really deep crannies in these on these bricks, and yeah. we didn't realize that because even the the fuzziest roller, yep, just couldn't do it. Yeah. So anyway, that's why I'm using brushes. I did a three inch brush for pretty much the entire house, and now I'm trying to get into the nooks and crevices of these bricks on the fireplace because the fireplace was added maybe in the 70s. Our house was built in 58. This was probably added in like the 70s. So they used a different type of brick. So now I'm trying to get in there. But anyway, that's it. Okay. Let me give them an update on the yard. Okay. And then uh, you just have an awesome Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Love you. 
We have Gracie in the window. Hi, Gracie. Meow. And Alexander enjoying some warmth. Saturday warmth and Duchess enjoying the shade as much as she can get. Later on we'll play with your pool and water, okay? I'm surprised she's not actually in uh, the sprinkler because if you see it's watering day. But I'm going to try to go through there and kind of show you just an update on the potager and on some of these. Look at how big the uh, coleuses have gotten and the elephant ears but let me come this way and I'll show you the potager and then I'll show you kind of the gray that's all over our house I'm gonna walk through the sprinkler here ah, I'm getting wet so you saw in a short that Jay got this trellis and uh, it was broke and um, it was part of just kind of a broken piece that he bought inexpensive and then he had somebody weld on legs again and the crisscrosses so we can get vines growing up and I actually am going to put this rose over here um, and let it has pink flowers as a climbing rose um, but we did not plan on anything growing, but the uh, grapevine took it over before we even stabilized it. It's not officially in the ground yet. <laughs> but uh, the potager has just taken off. My carrots are even growing big. Um, cauliflower. And that is a crazy cherry tomato which my seeds said it was a golden cherry and as they're growing those are not the golden cherry tomato I think I got one of those pear shaped ones and then we have um, the mini pumpkins they're growing all the way up and my cucumbers are taken off. The nasturtiums are doing really well. They're loving the heat, I guess. And then this is a beefsteak tomato, and that is a berry wine. I've gotten one tomato off of it so far. That was my first tomato. We did have a very cold spring. Back up and get a wider shot. And I have some green beans here in this little box. And like I said, those grapevines are not supposed to be on the trellis yet because it's not stabilized, but they're just doing their thing. <laughs> And I think I've got some cantaloupe in there as well. But we're way behind you southern gardeners. Um, but things are still booming. These, this tomato here is like, it's like a medium or small, it's not a cherry, uh, like little orange tomatoes. And uh, I need to pull out the snap peas that's just getting too hot for them. And um, my zucchini is going like crazy. And the bell peppers are starting to finally uh, get flowers and take off. So I'm excited for those. And then let me see if I can get through the water again. Um, the flowers are looking quite amazing. Um, that bed is looking good. However, it was a lot more beautiful in the spring. It, it was full of blooms. I think I need to fill it more with some summer blooms that will bloom through the summer um, because once spring was over, it kind of got a little boring. <laughs> and back through the water. But you can see this is the part of the house that we first painted gray 
just to test it out back here and we loved it we're gonna do black accents um, so gray with white trim and black accents which matches like all the curly cues on my studio and the archway I don't know if you can see it with the Sun coming up the archway which holds the gate uh, from wobbling and gives us a nice entrance um, but this is the gray and this all was the red kind of red brown brick and Jay has made it all the way around the storage room and the greenhouse is doing good look at the bell peppers in here and there's a tomato in the back they are enormous because they're loving the heat the only thing is I'm noticing with the heat in here they are not blooming and um, I'm wondering if they're waiting for the heat to be done before we will actually get fruit and it's pretty much just a mess in the, <laughs> in the greenhouse it's just we've been coming and going and grabbing stuff and no time to clean so and then this is where he was painting one of the videos and he got all of that painted and I got some great let me see if I can get past the Sun here this is a raised bed and it's got uh, pineapple tomatoes and then these are those orange they're not cherry tomatoes and they can get bigger than that they're really good though and I don't know what they are because I got them in a seed packet and I've just been saving seeds for a couple years okay now this is a mess but you can see let me back up that he just has to do all the white trim and everything but this is uh, then he rounded the front yard and got that all painted and he's literally been doing it with a paintbrush I'm like you're crazy <laughs> <laughs> you're crazy uh, zinnias I finally got zinnias uh, to seed everything was eating my seedlings there's my puppy dog and right now we have a shade cloth over the greenhouse which is keeping it cooler we have the fan uh, that runs like right here and it uh, I'll run it I'll plug it in um, like midday uh, it's supposed to be on a on a timer or a when a temperature hits a certain amount it will turn on um, but we haven't had time to program that and <laughs> figure that out um, so but and once again he's got the wants me to have the um, waterfall and pond off this morning because he's drying it out he wants to do a little bit more repairs on it one of the things is if you ever do a um, pond or a waterfall there's a lot of maintenance on it um, and just keeping it healthy and clean um, but we have been planting I'm trying not to get my shadow and the Sun is very harsh this morning right here Duchess actually loves the stream she walks in it I can't turn it on right now and unfortunately every time I turn on this it's been running for weeks and weeks and weeks and should be just fine but uh, anytime I turn on my video it's the time that he said don't turn it on because I want to I want to repair something on it just making sure that all the water's not we're not losing any water but anyways hope you all are having a wonderful Saturday and uh, we love you all. See you in the next video.